This is our last time! <laughs> Better single than single use! <laughs> so this is hopefully the last time we will have to carry away plastic bottles because it's hopefully also the last time we ever use plastic bottles because very very soon we're going to install something that will allow us to drink the water from our tank so we're going completely plastic free. Heavy package. No, oh, we should take care of that. <laughs> so we got some Riva filters to change the way we drink and live on the boat. Because so far we've uh, searched for the perfect filter system, which is not that easy. So either they are super expensive or they require electricity to UV filter it or you have to buy a lot of filters and then you have a lot of waste again. So we found a very nice solution. Filtering system and the filter cartridges are biodegradable. Yeah, and we can throw them away without worrying. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Fixing. Oh yeah, this uh, cable, that's a thing for the mm -hmm. outer, yeah, Gardena. So we have two filters, uh, one we use to fill up the tanks, so we get clean water without odors, chlor, whatever, into the tanks. And then from the tanks we will install a second filter underneath the sink to filter the last water coming to our drinking bottles. Now basically we called uh, Riva uh, service to check uh, about the installation and uh, the storing requirements because we have like one filter pack to f uh, fill up the tanks we can store in the fridge afterwards so there's no bacteria forming and stuff and they said we can store it for like six to eight uh, weeks there but as we are using it anyhow every two or three weeks uh, most likely uh, we can store it there without problems. Before we try our new filter system and fill up the tanks with uh, some clean water, basically we try to empty the tanks and to clean all the residues. So we will open the tanks and check. So to open these, you actually need quite some force, hammer and, and hit it. found quite some uh, chalk in uh, the other ones uh, last week which is actually not very uh, dangerous so we just took it out to make sure that our filters are not getting clutched. So we did the same with this tank, cleaned it with vinegar and then it was time to refill. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we call it uh, the, the service again because the water here is quite high pressure. <laughs> it's so high that it came out of the. Let's try again. This is going to be super interesting because it's my Michael is super picky with water taste. So normally he never really likes water. If it's not the water we drink at home, we're super spoiled back in Italy. We live in the Alps, so our water is pretty good. <laughs> so let's see if he likes it. <laughs> Give us your honest opinion. 
It smells like normal drinking water. Yes? Yeah. Super skeptical. <laughs> Let's see if I still lift tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I called the guy again to check uh, regarding the water pressure because the water pressure in this marina is exceptionally high, which normally never happens. <laughs> so he said they are testing the filters with 15 bars, so we will probably never You mean reach enough it. pressure? Yeah, yeah. Ah. So we can just run it at full pressure to fuel, uh, to filter the tank, and uh, the more the pressure, the better also the, the filtration. So. Oh, it works. Okay, uh, cool. For that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So basically, water comes from shore, goes through the first filter, second filter, and into our tank. In our first tank, we have a second tank in the front. Total about 500 liters of storage. Ooh, we had to take a short break to help our neighbors get out of the marina and then we are going back and test the filters to its fullest. Huh? So we decided to go full, full, full pressure. Check the filter. Okay, I check here. Let's see if everything is closed. Okay, it's open. Yeah. Looks fine. Nothing happens here. Oh, fine. So we finished to fill up and now as the guy from the service center said we are going to put it into the fridge so it stays cool. Beforehand we are going to apply a sticker so we know how often Michael is washing the boat now. <laughs> so we know how often we have used it. Normally you kind of use it for the month, like when we were doing the other installation we put the month. But as this is not a constant installation, we prefer just to click off how often we have filled up the tank so we kind of know how much went through because every 6,000 liter, if I'm right, uh, you should change them. So after filling up the tanks, we had no more reason to stay in the marina. We went outside at anchor where we are installing the second part of the filters underneath the sink. A big thanks to all our Patreons. We really appreciate your support. So if you wanna become a part of our family, check out the link in the description. So you may be the lucky one to enjoy a week of sailing together with us on board of Fortuna. It's always hot when I'm installing some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so, we tried out the filters outside to fill up the water to get like clean water into our tanks and now we are uh, installing the same set underneath our sink to make sure that the water is filtered before we fill it and uh, we can drink it. With the kit we got some connection pipe, flexible one, two uh, fixing brackets, uh, change filter kit basically because the cartridges can be changed out of the aluminium box very nice system because basically uh, whoop, here this one yeah you can open it up and then take out the whole cartridge which we got here and the best thing about this system is that the cartridge is biodegradable looks fancy It's probably also very fancy. <laughs> Michael will eat it when we have to change it. <laughs> no can do! As before, we use first the... Which one did we use first? Life. First life first and then the other. First life and then multi. the multi. So first life and then the multi. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's hide the bag. <laughs> nice trash. No, uh, before we uh, open up any pipes, we switched off water pressure and uh, let the water rinse out. And now we are protecting our uh, fridge 
because some drops might come still out uh, of the pipe and then we just open it and connect the uh, thingy. Let's hope the connector is the same. Oh, it is. It looks good. It Does looks it good. fit? It fits. And then we just need to hope that we get near enough to fix it somewhere. <laughs> yes. We have to find another way to store it safely. Oh yeah, I think, I think we will manage. No, this is not working. Wait, maybe we, maybe we have another one. Do we have? <gasps> Does this fit? Ooh. Yes. Wow, they sent us all the magical pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is how the system looks under the sink once we manage to connect all the magical pieces. Is everything all right? We are still living. <laughs> Two months later and we are still fine and like we drank the water now every day from the tap which is a luxury really. Yeah it's so nice just you know whenever the bottle is empty to walk down yeah. fill it up and have our water ready. <laughs> so now uh, we are able to survive for two weeks with our tanks before we need to fill it up again. Yeah, I would say more like if we if we don't take too much care, like shower and whatever, we kind of still easily do two weeks, yeah. even with drinking the water. And uh, yeah, obviously it's it's so much nicer not to have to carry all these horrible plastic bottles from the shop to Fortuna. It's also less planning. We never have to plan to get as close to a huge supermarket or whatever, because we just don't have this distance problem anymore with the bottles, like all the other groceries are kind of fine. It's super easy to use. Also now in the, how often did we already refill? We refill three times, I suppose. Yeah, probably four. Probably four times, yeah. We have written it down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it has been super easy. Uh, we never had any problems with the pressure. So also like the pressure after the filters are is still fine. A lot of you have been asking us. It still goes quickly to fill up the tanks. Also at here at the at the tap, we have no problem with pressure and it's doing pretty fine. So we got also a lot of questions from you on Instagram. So we're trying to respond to them all now. Uh, well, the first one is, is what is the brand? Brand is uh, called Riva Filters. Uh, we put the link down in the description. So if you want to check them out, uh, click on it and you will find all the information. Um, then, did you clean the tank as well before you started drinking? Yes, we cleaned them uh, out properly, both of them, to make sure there is nothing left. But there is still a second filter underneath the sink to make sure that if there would be something in the tank that it also cleans this one. Yeah. How much is this system? Check out their website, <laughs> the link down, and uh, yeah. you will get all the information there. They're actually not that expensive and no. they had a lot of different classes, so I think everybody will find their price range in there. Um, do we add something into the water to avoid taste and to stabilize it? Nothing. That is really amazing. Previously, we had to put in uh, stuff to take out all the odors and the smell and right now we just drink it from the tap and it smells like water like <laughs> literally water we get the worst waters in the marinas with yeah. chlor and like crazy smelling warm temperature and, and stuff but uh, yeah it's really nice the only thing we have to do with the system is actually change the cartridge every half a year half a year yeah. or even longer and as we already pointed out the cartridge is biodegradable so we don't even produce any kind of trash with the system so we totally love it 
Um, why did we go for river filters? Well, that's exactly the reason. It's not only no plastic, but it's also no waste created with the filter. Yeah. So we're kind of totally waste free right now. Um, in the double filter you use to fill up the tanks, what kind of filters do we use? So one, we have the life filter and the second one is called... Multi, he always forgets. Multi. <laughs> yes, I always forget. <laughs> So those are the two, yeah. like multi and life, and those together uh, take out all the odors and filter all the bacteria, basically. So at the end, the water is drinkable. I think those are also the two filters that you get in the package. They have like this kind of explore package on their website, so you have all right those yeah. in there because they're defined to actually yeah be drinkable afterwards. Yeah, I think that was it. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments. We always try to respond as quickly. If you like this episode, we are always very happy of a thumbs up and even more of a subscribe. <laughs> and for all you brave ones who are still watching, we are going to show you our secret how we managed to say weeks out at sea without water maker. And it's this little thingy here. Which actually, if I even open the tap, you see there is no water coming. Only water will come out once I push here. And this seems kind of stupid and genius in the same way, but this actually saves us up to 80% of water because just think, you know, when you go and wash your face, all that time water will still be running, but it's not. So yeah. This is our precious tool, which will save us a lot of water when we are out there. We'll put also the link for that one in the description. Unfortunately, they're a little bit tricky to find. We found an eBay link, but it could be that in your place you find those more easily. If you love what we're doing, check out our Patreon page and support us. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>